In today's video, guys, we're going to be opening some extremely underrated Pokemon tins. These tins seem to quite often get left on shelves in supermarkets, which is nuts, because I think they're awesome. And we, of course, are talking about V-Force tins, guys. This is the Lucario, the Slowbro, and the Mew tin. Now, yes, it does come with a Sword and Shield booster pack, which is so-so, eh, but it comes with two Vivid Voltage packs, so we've got chances to pull those Pikachu cards, in particular that Chubby Chew, which we still have not pulled here on the channel, so maybe today is that day. And not only that, a Breakpoint Booster Pack, which is such a cool set. Just check out some of these cards here. That Ho-Ho card and that Secret Rare Gyarados is incredibly cool and well worth adding to anyone's collections. And hopefully today we manage to pull some of those cards. So let's rip into it. Hey guys, my name's Matt Cully and welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be opening these three tins right here. But just before I do that, if you are new to the channel, you love Pokemon openings and all thing Pokemon, then do make sure to hit that subscribe button, come and join the ride and help us get to 5,000 subs before the end of the year. We are so close, it'd be amazing if we could do it. Right, let me get these tins open and let's get going. Let's just kick off by showing you what promo cards actually came in. So you've got the Galarian Slowbro, which actually is from Darkness of Bays. The Lucario V from Champion's Path. And the Mew V from Darkness of Blaze. I didn't realise till like after doing my last opening list, these weren't even promo cards. I actually thought they were, but they're not. They're actually from other sets. Then we got the booster packs that came in each one. And we got two Vivid Voltage, like I said, a Sword and Shield and the all important breakpoint booster packs, guys. I'm gonna be saving the breakpoint ones till last. So let's just check out the artworks. Look at the breakpoint pack artworks. Do you not think that just looks awesome on that? I love that, that Gyarados one in particular. And then what we got here, oh, is that what we got there? Is that Greninja one there as well? Absolutely awesome, guys. I'm really looking forward to getting into them. We're gonna actually kick start with like sword and shield packs actually and then we'll do vivid voltage afterwards let's put them to one side and let's get cracking into the sword and shield booster up first let's go for the zakian booster pack here guys and i'm gonna save the booster pack booster uh, code cards because i actually don't want to see what it says on them i don't know about you guys but i absolutely hate that pokemon have had to do like colors to like weigh packs out so you can't weigh them basically because i when you know that there's a difference like a green and a white code card you just kind of always look out for it and you catch it and it ruins the surprise i don't know about you guys that's my question of the day do you hate when you see the color of the code card or you see the wording on the code card so you know whether you're going to get a decent pull i absolutely hate that guys let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below do you wish they could find another way to do that i do i think just Color them the same and just do it on thicker cardboard. Right, okay, Goldie. Now we're gonna get anything at the bag. Nothing in this one. Okay, another Zakian booster pack, guys. And then after that, it's a Snorlax one. And yeah, it's weird. You might have seen the code card there anyway. Actually, now I think about it. But uh, hopefully we can get something. Actually, the Golden Dogs are in this set are pretty good. So to uh, you know, give us some luck. Let's. I have to clean that up afterwards. I don't see anything about throwing code cards. Uh, right, Team Gale Grunt, Hitmonlee, Score Bunny, Nick It, Chinchow, Ferrisseed, Diglett. Okay, Rotom right Bike, and ooh, more Pico. It worked. It worked. I'm going to have to do it. Man, this can make such a mess if I have to do it all the time. But that has brought us some luck. That more Pico V Max. Let me get some sleeves. And there we go, guys. And once again, can I say a massive thank you to Bulba Pro. These guys supply the channel with sleeves. Amazing, amazing sleeves, semi-rigid and uh, top loaders. If you need to get any, links in the description down below and use code Matt Cully to get 10% off. But not only that, the money that should be my profit from you buying it is going directly to Rocky North Children's Charity. I don't take any profit. What I would get goes straight to charity. So use my code when buying some sleeves. Go do it. Okay, last Sword and Shield booster pack. We've got the Snorlax one. And I recently got the Snorlax from this set, which I was very happy about, I have to say. And uh, I'd be surprised if we get another decent pull out Sword and Shield. I'm hoping we save some goodies for these Breakpoint packs because I really want to pull some of those cards out of that. And what I like about the Breakpoint set, it's not very big. Like, it's not a very big set. I'd love to open a booster box of some of the XY stuff, actually. Who doesn't want to open a box of Evolutions right now, right? But, right, Diglett, and I didn't throw the energy card. That's why I didn't get a pull. I didn't throw that energy card, did I? Oh, my God. I'm going to get into the habit of doing that. Okay, let's move on to Vivid Voltage. Now, not only are the Pikachus in this set, but I always kind of forget you've got the Charizards in here, the non-holo and the reverse holo Charizards. So they would be nice pulls to get. 
Uh, I think I sent some myself off to get graded for my own personal collection. I've actually started using PCA for some of my personal stuff. It's a French company, but I don't care about like, I don't know, I just want to protect them from my own collection and I think their slabs look awesome. So I'm actually really excited to get them back. Hopefully, not long after I've done this video and you're watching this, I'll be releasing, ooh, no reverse Charizard. I will be releasing a video of a review of PCA. So do look out for that. So do subscribe for that. And Don Fan, it's because I didn't throw the energy card. I didn't do it again. Right, Celebi pack. And let me try and remember this pack. Throw the energy card. Throw the energy card. Throw the energy card. Right, one, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, amazing rares in this set as well, isn't it? Right, here we go. Yes. Now we're going to get something good. You watch. There'll be a pull in this. Oh, wait, if there is a pull in this, this is insanity. Right, okay. Walimar. Teen Ammo. Execute. Okay, telescopic sight. And... Hmm. Didn't work this time. Another Celebi pack here. And... Uh... I'm going to keep it up. I'm going to keep throwing these code cards, actually. Uh, I keep calling them code cards, energy cards. Because, hey, it's fun. And, like, what the hell would you do with them otherwise? Like, what do you guys do with all your energy cards? Oh, man, it's the click. Why am I doing it like that? It's the cleaning up at the end. A Dewat. Blitzel. Milsery. Skittle. Something you leave in your pants. Eevee. Trubbish. Okay, extra drill. No amazing rare. Right. And a Leon. Holographic Leon trainer card. That's not a bad pull, actually. That's not bad at all. I bet get the sleeves up. Or Beetle. Right. This one. This one I've got a feeling, guys. It's going to be going to be something big. So we've got two pulls and we've got three tins to open. And you normally expect to get at least one decent pull per tin. Uh, so hopefully we save some for that. If not, we want the Pikachu, really. That's what we want. Right. Get rid of that energy card. Right. Okay. Puccina. Rock Rough. Blitzel, Skittle, something you leave in your pants. Right, Ferrisseed, Drill by no amazing rare, but I do love the little clay doll. And, yeah, Barrascuda, nothing in that one. Okay, two more vivid guys, then we're on to those three breakpoint booster packs, which I am very excited about. One, two, three, four. There's our energies. Get rid of that. I got work on left. I struggle with my left hand. Do what? Ferrothorn. Right, Voltal, Rockruff, Talwo, Yanma, ooh, Samurott, Reverse Hollow, it's not bad pull actually, Reverse Hollow, and uh, Yan Mega, mm, it's a bit of a duffer. Okay, the big boy Pikachu artwork, let's see if it brings the goods. Now, honest truth, out of the Pikachu artwork, my favourite is that actually the V, the pink one, I pulled that myself, and I've sent it to be graded for me, because... I love that artwork because it's so like classic Pikachu artwork with the pink background and the yellow. It stands out so cool. So I like that. <coughs> Man, why am I doing that? I have to pick it up earlier. But, you know, we've got to sacrifice it to the gods. The Pokemon gods. Right, Pinoco, Clefairy. Are we going to get an amazing... Okay, no amazing rare. Right, okay. <sighs> Zekrom Holographic. So we've got another hollow. Right, so we got our free pull so far. Hopefully, we are still going to get something out of these breakpoint packs. We're going to leave the Gyarados 2 in uh, pack till last. And let's kick off with this. What's this? A Luxray. Let's get going with this one. And I've got to remember, three cards to the front. Three cards to the front. And hopefully... Damn it. Look. Well, I guess it could still have a break card, couldn't it? Because this set had break cards. And I, is it no energy in this one? So nothing... Nothing to sacrifice away. Um, look at that. Is looking sassy as anything. Bailey. Look at the pack art. Like the, the actual artwork. It actually stands out a lot. It's pretty cool in this set. Jambolt. That is really nice. Ducklet. Glimmeow. Spritzy. Shinx. That's a really cute looking artwork on that one. And a Spritzy. Reverse. Wow. What is that? Can you make that out as well? Can you see this like, yeah, there, look. Can you see there's like a break in the card down the side here of the hollow? It's like a silver line, random. Are we gonna get anything? And we know we're not, fair or Right, two more packs left to go. Let's hope we can get one more big pull out of these boosters. They're really nice looking booster artwork. So there's part of you that doesn't quite want to get rid of them, like open them as well. They'd be quite nice as an art set to keep, but hey, we're all about open them. Ooh, okay, Gyarados Spirit Link. Is there going to be a magic carp? Is there a magic carp in this set? I'm not sure. Okay, Frogadier. Drowsy. 
Pet Till, Crick Top, Pan Cham, that is a nice Pan Cham artwork. Okay, Scorpio, Scorpi, sorry. Right, and no break card. Right, are we gonna get something at the back? <laughs> Garbador Holographic. Actually, this hollow I really like because it's got like a almost an amazing rare feel about this. It's weird. I pulled this myself out of some packs the other day at Breakpoint, so I pulled this one already. But it's a beautiful looking card. I really like this. Okay, guys, last pack magic, and so far we have pulled four hollows out of those tins. So it's unlikely we're going to get sang out of this, but we never know. So let's get going with it and see if we can get sang. Now, guys, if you have enjoyed this video and you want to support the channel, let's see if we can get 100 likes on it. It'd be absolutely awesome if you drop the video a like, especially if you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, just help because likes are free, but it actually helps your content get shared. So the more likes you get, the more it helps the channel. So I really appreciate it. Right, last pack, Paltone, Psychic Third Eye, Singly, Scorapy. Gibble, this is cool. We've got some really cool Gibble cards going up on the website very soon. My, I have a website where I sell singles. And by the way, if you use, uh, go over there and you're in the month of March, use code March 2021 at checkout, 5% off. Go check it out. Right, little plug of my website there. I just kind of had to do that, right? Side, I don't talk about it in my videos really. Side, up. okay. Fur through. Ducklet. Are we gonna get something in this slot? Okay, no palatode. Right, okay, last card, last card. Give us something good. Ah! Nothing. So this quick little review of what we pulled. We got the Leon Hollow, the Zekrom Hollow, that Garbodor Hollow. I actually really do like this card. I think it's a really cool artwork. And then the more Pico VMAX, which again, it's a VMAX, so it's awesome to get a VMAX pull. The colors just pop. I do think they've nailed adding these VMAX cards to sets. I really like that. As promised, I actually nearly forgot, guys. Here's the code cards from today's video. I hope you won't manage to get anything good. And if you do, do come and show it off and join the conversation on my Discord. It's all chucked down below. It's been growing like incredibly. Well over 300 members now. Massive thank you to all you guys that have joined it. And remember, the question of the day is, does it annoy you about these code cards? So, for example, this one says the word redeem. So that means you're not going to get a good card. Because, look, it's a green go card. So if they say redeem... Right, and if it says TCGO, it is a white code card, so you know that you're gonna get something good in that booster. Jeez. For some reason, I can't hold packs. And there you go, if you get TCGO, you're gonna get something good with the white back. And that's what annoys me, because you kind of wish they changed that up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I do hope you enjoyed, and if you did, go and drop a sub. I believe there's a little circle just down there. And check out some of my other videos on this side. Don't forget to drop a subscribe, and let me know in the comments down below about that question I asked you earlier. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.